Welcome back. I'm Paul, and we recently put out a little vote of what people wanted me to tumble next out of the few choices that I had, and the winner was Blue Tiger Eye. So today we're going to get started with our tumble of Blue Tiger Eye. I've got five pounds of Blue Tiger Eye. That's wet, and that's what it looks like dry. It's cut in the saw. I've got it different thicknesses and different sizes, and got some end cuts and things like that. So, we're going to get started with our Tiger Eye today. So we're just going to load our barrel up with some sizes. Got some little pieces that we broke. Some larger pieces. We'll go two-thirds or so full. The first week they're going to round down and kind of, seems like they fill the barrel a lot faster. Or, uh, they, they shrink a lot faster and fit in the barrel better so it loses volume <coughs> oh excuse me so I think that that we got some little scraps in there that should do it so we've got our tiger eye we'll fill the water level to just below the level of the rock About like that. I think you can probably see it. And we will do three tablespoons of the 3670 silicon carbide. Well, that'll go on the tumbler for a week, and we will be back next week, and we'll see the most drastic change you'll see with it. After the first week, it has the most drastic change, so... That'll be a fun one. We'll see what it looks like after a week. We'll see you then. The Blue Tiger Eye has been in coarse grit for one week. And I'm going to kind of walk through my process that I do every single week. I do it the same way when I'm in coarse grit. And then I'll probably just keep track of how many weeks it takes to get a batch ready for the lotto. And then we'll jump back in when we're going to the next stages in the lotto tumbler. So, oof. Looks really really golden brown. The tiger eye has like this orange looking material on the top and on the bottom. So I'm assuming that all that orange in there is that stuff uh, coming, grinding off. I don't know if I've ever had any of that color yet. This being the first stage is when you see the most drastic change from the course, so it's always the, the neatest one to see. And I don't really spend too much time cleaning these barrels out because I just make sure I get the, the rim cleaned out good because all I do is run coarse grid in them so I can't contaminate another batch or anything like that. And I don't figure after one week anything's going to be done, but that's what everything's looking like. Looks pretty nice. I looked up the term of the, uh, the, the shimmer that you get from the light in there, and it's called chitoyancy. So that's the term of that flicker of light that you can see and I don't know how easy you can see it on the camera I got to get it just right but you can kind of see it it's called ch chatoyancy I think I'm saying it right so I just kind of go through everything and this one actually for one week it looks pretty good but anything that's got like this that little circle that you can see up there that little pit will run that longer and then it's a little bit rough on this side and other than that there's a little spot right there but Sometimes I feel like, man, it might be done next week, and that it always takes a little longer than I think, but we will see. And so that one's got a big notch in it right there. And like I say, I don't have to wash them very well. If they have any coarse grit left on them, they're going to go right back into coarse grit. So there's no concern there. This has got a little rough edges on it right here. Same with this. I'm wondering if that golden brown stuff will... It looks like it's kind of tumbling off right there. You can see it wore a bunch of that off on both sides there. So maybe all of that will come off. 
but we will see. I've only tumbled a couple little small pieces of tiger eye that came in a beginner miscellaneous or a little uh, mixed rock set that I bought. This one you can really see the chitoyancy on it. That those lines in there. It looks really cool in person. I really like the tiger eye. That one looks really nice already too. So we might end up having some stuff ready to move on next week, but that's always wishful thinking. That one looks really nice as well. I did cut it up in some smaller pieces, and after I got done cutting it, I had some different ideas. You can see how that brown stuff must be way softer because it's really come off of that piece too. I'm willing to bet we'll probably end up tumbling all of that off of there. That one's looking about the same. That one looks kind of got a kind of a crack running through it, but that's all right. It doesn't really look like a crack. It just looks like a flaw line. So yeah, everything's looking about the same. It feels nice and smooth. Got some nice colors. Pretty excited to have this stuff polished. Like that little piece right there. You can really see the light flicker. I've, I've read that something with the... It's almost like when you petrify... I'm not 100% sure, but from the way I read it, it's almost like when it petrifies wood and you have the wood grain. I've read something that it's like a form of asbestos that the fibers of the asbestos were replaced with the the silica or whatever the mineral was that essentially I wouldn't say petrified it but it replaced the the fibers and that's what gives it that chitoyancy so yep everything's looking pretty good for one week everything looks really nice this one's got it you can see the big crack on the top and all the brown stuff's gone I may end up breaking that one but I'm gonna let it go another week and see what it looks like That one right there is really close to being able to move on because, like I say, the way I cut it, there wasn't a lot of flaws in it. Just had to run anything off, but we're going to run it another week. It's not by any means perfect yet. Yeah, so this is what I do every week. I go through them, feel if there's anything that's got no issues, and if it does, we put it in a container and we move it on, ready to move on to the next uh, stage. So there's all that. And you can kind of see all of the all of the brown stuff that popped off the tops and the bottoms of all those pieces. And we're probably just gonna throw all that away. So we're down to we're actually close to a half. And like we we're looking at, like this is the way it looks now, and this is the way it started last week. It looked like this. Well, that one's got a big piece on it, it broke, but yeah, you get the picture. All those sharp edges rounded off that far in one week. That's where you see your biggest change. So we will top the barrel back off with some more. Try to get some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces in there. All right, so there's all that. I'm a little full on the water. So there's the water. I'm gonna try to start going a little lower because they say the slurry, mine seems pretty watery at the end of the week compared to some other things that I've seen. So I wanna see if I can kinda maybe thicken it up a little bit and see if that speeds up the grinding process. So there's all of our rock. And then I've got, uh, uh, three tablespoons because we have a three pound barrel and I usually just pretty well run a tablespoon per pound in the three pound barrel. So we'll put the three tablespoons of the 4670 grit and we will button that up and it'll go back on the tumbler and it'll roll for a week. We've got all of our blue tiger eye ready to go to medium stage in the lotto tumbler and if you remember which you do because it was just a second ago for you it used to have all that golden brown color on the tops and the bottoms and it must have been a softer material because it would wear away extremely fast 
compared to the rest of the rock. So I don't even know if that stuff would polish or not, but I've essentially gotten all of that off. This stuff rolled in the, the one, the three pound barrel for probably about a month. And it was a slow process getting all that off. And I ended up using a grinder and using my saw a little bit. And then I wanted the three pound barrel for another load. So I ended up finishing the rest of this blue tiger eye in my 12 pound barrel that I check every week. So it's been about four months since I started the video on this, since I started the very first load of this in the three pound barrel. So it has been hanging out for a while. And I, I think I might be a couple of little pieces left in there, but we're ready to get it going. And that's what it looks like dry after coarse grit. And we'll get it wet. There we go get it wet you can see all the colors well not many colors mostly blue but you can see all the shimmer and the shine hopefully it looks like that when we get done polishing it so we're going to get that going and then i also have a piece of arizona petrified wood that we've been rolling our 12 pound barrel and i don't have a lot of this i only bought five pounds and by the time i got all that golden brown stuff off the tops and bottoms there's not a whole lot left so i i ended up getting rid of a lot of the material so we're going to throw this in there because most of these are pretty small and uh we're just going to get this one polished up and see how this looks like when we're done. There it looks like dry. We'll get that wet too. It's got a lot of cool colors. So it's got some flaws in it yet, but it also rolled for a long time. So I'm ready to just polish it and see how it looks. Probably just be something in our collection anyways. So we're going to get this all loaded up. We'll get some media in there and then we'll get started on uh, medium grit, which is like a, a 120-220 grit. Or 180-220, I always forget. So many diff different options when you're ordering grit, I can never remember which one I went with. So there's all the Tiger Eye. Our petrified wood is in there. A little water. Get some media in here. And we'll dump some of the water out. Looks like I might have to add some more media when we get set up on the tumbler, but we'll do that in a minute. I'll get the water all dumped out, and we'll get set up on the lotto and get this ready to go on medium. I do things a little different on my medium than a lot of people do just because uh, I changed it up because it seems to work pretty well for me. If you do the two tablespoons and try to let it go for two or three days, it gums up pretty quick, and it has a, I have a hard time keeping it rolling as well as I do on other stages. So I'm going to do one tablespoon and let it go for a day maybe a little longer and then I'll dump it and clean it and then do another tablespoon and go for another day or day and a half as much as I can get it running and then it'll be done with the medium stage after those two little one day runs I might add a little bit more ceramic. I did add some more when we got on the tumbler, but it looks like I didn't add enough. And we'll just check the water level on it a few times a day and make sure it stays wet enough to keep rolling. We got through the stages on the 120-220 medium grit. And <laughs> after they were done, I dumped them and rinsed them. And then I put them back in the barrel with a little borax and gave them a little wash. I do that mostly because I do all the stages in the same barrel and I don't want to cross contaminate between batches and end up with a bad batch. So we'll, we'll rinse them off here and we'll get them going on 500.
Yeah, I really like this blue tiger. I've kind of gone to anything that's blue. We we'll usually try to tumble that. And tiger eye, tiger eye is one of my favorites also. So when you get to the blue tiger eye, that stuff's awesome. So it's looking really good. I'll go ahead and clean it up a little better and get the barrel cleaned up and we'll get it back in and we'll get over on the tumbler and get going on 500. All right, the barrel and rocks are all scrubbed up and everything should be nice and clean. We're going to run 500 grit uh, silicon carbide. It'll be a half a teaspoon and one tablespoon of the borax. And I did pull one out and dry it. This one's all dry. And you can see it doesn't really have any shine. You can kind of see the chatoyancy. Ch chatoyancy. Not really too much, I guess, but... I can kind of see it in person. Once we get the shine on it, we'll really be able to see it. So we'll get that back in. We'll get the polish on and or the grit in, and we'll go for three days. The blue tiger eye has ran for three days on 500 grit and I dumped it and rinsed it all off, cleaned the barrel and everything and we put it back in for a little wash cycle with some borax and we'll rinse it again here and take a look at it, see how it's looking and get it going on 1000 grit. Pretty excited. I've never done blue tiger eye before, and the normal tiger eye turns out really, really awesome. I've done a few pieces of that, but I'm kind of a big blue fan, so we'll see what this blue tiger eye looks like all polished. And we got our one big piece of Arizona petrified wood in there too, just to fill up the back. But that's what everything's looking right, looking like right now. Everything's looking good. Looking like we're getting closer to a shine stage. It's hard to tell when it's wet, but we'll go ahead and clean everything up a little better and get the barrel washed out real good and get set up on the tumbler and get things going on thousand grit. The barrel and the rocks are all scrubbed up real good. Everything's looking nice. And everything in the barrel is wet, no standing water. We're going to get it going on 1,000 grit silicon carbide. It'll be a half a teaspoon of the grit and a tablespoon of borax, and we'll go for another three days. Blue Tiger Eyes ran for three days in the 1000 grit silicon carbide and I dumped it 
and rinsed it and we put it back in with some borax and did a little burnish, a little wash cycle. And we're gonna get it cleaned up here and we'll get it going on polish. Everything's looking really good. Pretty excited to have this done because I really like Tiger Eye and I'm a big blue fan. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. I'll go ahead and wash this up a little better and get the barrel cleaned up and we'll get it set up and go on and polish on the on the tubbler. All right, the rocks and the, the barrel are all cleaned up really well. And everything in the barrel is wet, no standing water. We're going to get going to the polish stage. It'll be a half a teaspoon of the aluminum oxide polish and a tablespoon of borax and we'll go for another three days on it. Our blue tiger eye finished three days in polish and then I dumped the barrel and rinsed the rocks in the barrel pretty good and put them back in with some borax to run a little wash cycle and then I had to be away from it for a little while so I just shut it off and whenever I have to be away from my lotto I'll just uh, fill it up with water and shut it off so it's all polished and it was just doing a wash cycle and I didn't have time to go through them and rinse them so they're just sitting there full of water and we'll do it now. Everything always looks good wet, and they do look good. We got our blue tiger eye and our one piece of Arizona petrified wood. We'll go ahead and let them get dried up, and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, our blue tiger eye is all dry, and I think it turned out pretty awesome. It looks pretty good. I love all the combination colors with the gold and the blue in it. And uh, I'm always a blue fan when it comes to rocks, so I've been ordering a lot of stuff that's blue, so I'm pretty excited to have this all done. So we'll take a closer look at some of this stuff, and uh, that should do it for this one. I'm going to slide it out of the way. It helps my camera focus a little better. There we are. All right. So yeah, this stuff shined up awesome. And the color... And the, is it Chatoyan C on the Tiger Eye, I believe, is just awesome. I love that it has some of the gold in it too, and then it also has the blue. From the right angle, a lot of it just looks black if it's just mostly all blue. But you get it at the right angle and you'll see that blue flash.
Yeah, it shined up really nice. I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few flaws left over here and there, but for the most part, they look really nice. And for the most part, it all looks about alike. Some of it's got a little brighter flash, like that one's really bright. That one's got the nice little gold lines in it. That's pretty cool. We'll take a look at a couple other ones. And then we also had the piece of petrified wood in there in this batch. Just because I only got five pounds of the blue tiger eye. Other, other times I've seen it called hawk's eye, I believe. So with all of it done, it wasn't quite enough for the lotto. I had room to throw a... I've got a few big rocks sitting around that whenever I don't have enough room in my lotto, I'll throw one of them in there. I don't want to try to do too many of them at once. Sometimes they don't want to roll as well, so... Yeah, I think the Blue Tiger Eye was definitely a success, and it turned out real nice. And we've got a few things in the works that we're going to be doing some stuff with some of our polished rocks because the holidays are coming up. So I think we'll probably use some of this stuff because if you're into rocks at all, I'm betting you somebody would probably like some of this. That's for sure. All right, and then the piece of petrified wood we had was right here. And this stuff is, I mean, it shined up just amazing. It looks awesome as far as shine goes, but it has some fractures. This chip right here almost looks like I could get it to pop off of there, but I don't know how deep it actually goes underneath there. It looks pretty shallow, but, and then there was some fractures and a crack running through there. And there's another chip back here that looks like I could possibly try to get rid of, but... There's just so many little fractures here and there, and some of the cracks look like like that one. It looks like it runs pretty deep. So I decided that I love all that yellow on it and everything, and it's a pretty good-sized piece, so I figured we'd just polish it. We'll put it on our shelf. It'll be a part of our collection. But yeah, it turned out awesome. I mean, the shine on it is just amazing. We rolled this in coarse grit for probably... At least two months, it could have been longer. So, I mean, I did tumble the heck out of it. It's quite a bit smaller than we threw it in, and all the corners are nice and rounded off, but some of the flaws just weren't going to go away. I could have got the grinder on it, but like this crack, you can see, is pretty deep. But I'm pretty happy with it. It turned out really nice. It's got some pretty cool colors, and it's got an awesome shine, and there's some kind of cool stuff going on there with all the yellows and everything, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It turned out nice. So that's all we have for today. There's all our blue tiger eye again. I think it looks really nice. And I think we're going to take a few pictures and we'll probably try to tag them on the end of the video. But other than that, that's all we have for today. So if you liked our video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our tumbles that are coming up, because we've got a lot of stuff coming up, consider hitting the subscribe button and then you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching.